Jake Bellamy, Remax experts. We're here at a project house. We're walking through, taking a look, coming up with a plan. Guys, yeah, we got the back of a large master bedroom that used to be a garage. They've converted into a master bedroom. This was a storage closet. We're gonna rip all this out. It's got a little dumpy. Here, I'll look at it this way. It's got a little dumpy water heater in it. We're gonna take that out, put a nice tall one, and then this closet's gonna get opened up to be have a uh, stackable washer dryer. So the house originally had an oversized laundry room that was a waste of space but this will give you a nice compact setup just off the master. Great location, very usable. After speaking with Jake and Greg, the plumber, uh, we've decided to leave uh, the two by six uh, studs. We're gonna turn this space into one big master shower. Um, and so we're gonna take the toilet out of here. Plumber's gonna move it over here. Um, and this will be a nice, pretty tiled shower when we're all finished. Discharge toilet right here in off the wall here, and then a double vanity sink to so it can discharge out. Um, where the stackable's going for the washer and dryer, we're gonna be running and discharging the water out and coming through the side of the house and out to the backyard um, and tying into the foreign sewer main. Nick, you also doing something like a, a relining or repiping. What else are you doing here? Underneath the home, the pipes are deteriorated and falling apart. We're resealing them. We're putting a liner inside the sewer pipe to uh, make it whole again so the pipe doesn't decay and finish falling all apart and collapsing. So it's going to be all brand new pipe underneath there without digging up the hole. Uh, um, FPI Services, 863-937-9789. All right, thank you. Oh, we're talking shower enclosure. We're trying to figure out where we're going to put the... Um, the head, if it's going to try to put it on the back wall and come out, but that depends then on you're the you're going to have to refer it out a little bit so we can put a shower body in there. Right. And part of the reason we're getting some is it's blocked right now, so it's easier to tile up against the block as opposed to the Yankees think we can go on this side. That's where I, I put it over here. Put one here. John, I'd like to see John. John's coming back, but talk to John about texture and all these walls. This is blocked. I hate to do furring strips or anything over it. But if he can come in and he says he can texture this block and make it look nice and paint it, then I'm okay with that. It all depends on what John thinks he can do with it. This is all coming out. We're going to pull this frame. And we'll reframe this and make it something nice. Oh, yeah. You're going to have a vanity over here, right? Yep. I mean, well, a powder. About, okay. Yeah, we're talking about a huge, large, full-size vanity here. Possibly door there to separate this off. Now, it's going to have to probably be a special door. Okay, so we got a door there. Okay. Man, it's just shy of 80 inches. So I'm Greg, one half of Rafford Homes LLC, and my lovely and beautiful wife Sabrina. Well, you know the deal. She's the brains and the beauty behind the operation. 